Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube video. So today, I'm going to be doing a new coloring tutorial that I have. So let's just get on to the video because, yeah. So let's just get started. So the first step you're going to be in, oh, actually, I need to get a video, so let's do that. And one of my videos got removed for community guidelines for some reason when I really did nothing wrong, but okay. Sure. Um, I guess we'll do a video of Charlie since I'm already looking at these. <clears throat> I'll save this one right here that I found. Okay, so you're, what you're going to firstly do, you're going to firstly go to um, the app um, 24FPS. That's what it looks like. And then go into the app. Well, then you're going to click on this, uh, what in the world am I going, okay, on this import thing up there, in the top, click import and then put your video and then click use, so then, um, when you're done with that, you're going to click on that little filter looking thing, and the QR code that just popped up on my screen is the one that you're going to use and like to do it you're gonna click the little plus on the top click import polar filter image and then you click on it and then the QR code is gonna be there so and then click on the QR code and then this um, Aurora filter will pass up the Aurora filter so you're just gonna click on the Aurora filter and then I'm going to take it off and then put it back again. Because you need to put it to about 75, I think. To 70. You need to put it to 70. So. Yeah. And then just click save and share on the bottom. Click save as video. Since it's a video. So then when that's done, you're going to go to the prequel app it's the very first one on the top right there so you're going to open up the prequel app and you do need to download these apps if you don't have them so then click your video sorry about the music and um that's my other coloring so i need to take it off so the exposure is going to do 20, uh, tw negative 20, so you're going down. And then contrast negative 30. Highlights negative 20. <clears throat> and then shadows is negative 30, so we go down. Right here, check here. It's okay, if you put it on 31, it's fine. So you go to saturation, and you're gonna do negative 10. And then, I need to take off this, and take off this, and then blur as much as you want, I don't really care. Um, but I do it to 33, but you can do it as wherever you want. Then you're going to click effects, and you're going to do the um, sparkle one. You're gonna have to look for it. Oh, <coughs> sorry, I had to say this. Mm, when you look for it, you just like scroll, and it should be on the section stars. Um, and then just click on it, and then you can put sparkles. But I already have it saved. So then, when you click on sparkles, you're just going to hold on to the sparkles filter and then let go and then this should come up so start and sunsetting is at 25 star scale 8 star rotation 70 and the filter at zero so then just click the little check mark and then right here on the side this thing is going to be like white or like gray so then if you click on that it's going to turn into like this orange color and like in the bottom so you can get it easier so you saved it to your favorites because on this bottom you see like trends 
and like those other stuff in the bottom there's one next to trends that looks like that and when you click on it it has like all of the ones that you put on your favorites so it's pretty easy so then go to filters i'm sorry if i took so long on that i just wanted to explain you're going to be using the filter stockholm that's what it looks like but let's look for it because i want you guys to like actually see where the filter is i think i'm getting closer yeah i am it's on the part light because in the bottom it says like names it's on the light one and then it's stockholm right there i have it saved to my favorites so i'm gonna click on it and then just hold down and let go so then the filter has to be at 28 that's the filter color and then oops right on top of effects there's like this little import thing right on top of effects so just click on it and it's gonna start exporting let's just let it export real quick and then just click save video and it says save to camera and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the color tone app let me search it up color tone the very first one that comes up for me you have to like download all of these apps as i said so i'm gonna go to the color tone app um going to click on video pick the video that you imported and then click on the video and then down here there's a little edit thing so then go to the filters and you're going to look for the avalon filter and then just hold down and then let go and then put the avalon filter to 17 17 and then just you know do that put the little click on the little arrow on the side so then when you do that there's a little collections thing like this thing there's a little collections thing so you're gonna click on it and all of these stuff right here pop up you're going to be clicking on the jasmine hand you're gonna scroll till you get to this blue marble filter hold down and let go again <clears throat> this time the marble filter goes to 75 And then just click export on the top. And then click export again right there. And then this is the coloring. If you like like little gray colorings, you would definitely love this coloring if you do like gray colorings. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Bye.